Come drink new Mountain Dew Zero Sugar with us. Mountain Dew is a popular soda known for its bold flavor and the jolt of extra caffeine. Mountain Dew isn't afraid to try new things and think outside the box. This leads to many new and old flavors disappearing off the shelves. Here's another batch of 10 discontinued Mountain Dew flavors we miss. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. Freedom to be bold. This is America, isn't it? Yes. Fittingly, the makers of Mountain Dew released its Liberty Brew flavor on Memorial Day in 2019. This flavor was available in stores until August 11th, 2019. The flavor sported a midnight blue color similar to Mountain Dew's dark berry flavor. The patriotic label features the Statue of Liberty and eagles, so it's clearly celebrating America. This might sound dubious to some soda fans, but according to the marketing and bottle labels, Liberty Liberty Brew's flavor is concocted from 50 different fruit flavors. What? Warning. That can't be true. This number is, of course, a nod to the 50 United States that make up America. It is a very nice gesture to honor the USA. However, which 50 flavors are actually found in the soda is a bit of a mystery. This claim is more than likely just a public relations ploy, because this many flavors would probably be quite a mess to sort out. What would 50 competing flavors actually taste like? According to Mountain Dew fans on Online, this flavor is described as having the taste of a bomb pop or various types of gummies, such as wild berry lifesavers gummies or blue raspberry crabby patty gummies. Well, that's just weird. No, it's beautiful. The descriptions seem a little scattershot, and they probably don't help very much. That said, we may be in luck as it was leaked on the Mountain Dew Discord that PepsiCo may already have plans to bring the Liberty Brew out again in summer 2020. Let's wait and see. Green with Dew. This special flavor was released on college campuses in January 2017 in 16-ounce cans and marketed with the tagline, Dew with Crafted Green Apple Kiwi. What does that even mean? The rest of America got its first taste of Mountain Dew Green Label a few months later, but the response was uninspired. Putting aside the reason why a mass-produced soda should be referred to as crafted, which was probably just an attempt to cash in on the popularity of craft beers, which has been rising in recent years. The shame! The shame! The shame! However, this pitch did not end up appealing to the college kids they were going after, or anyone else, really. It just did not work. This ill-fated flavor was discontinued by Mountain Dew before the end of 2017 because of disappointing sales. Maybe it was the combination of apple and kiwi. Green Label was the soda maker's third attempt to sell a green apple-flavored soda to the public. The others were Diet Crave and Electric Apple, and they both failed. So maybe those failures should have been a sign customers don't want a green apple-flavored do. I don't want it. I never have. Ice Ice Cherry. Too much cherry! News of a cherry flavor by Mountain Dew was leaked on the internet a few months before Ice Cherry was released on September 24th, 2018. It was then taken off shelves before the year was even over. But this beverage has a somewhat happier ending, as in 2019, Mountain Dew Ice Cherry was re-released, but only in certain regions where it had performed well to begin with. This was a strange strategy by Mountain Dew, but since it's not currently available in all regions, we are still including this one on our discontinued flavors we miss list. You think you're gonna get out of this on a technicality? I'm not trying to get out of anything. Despite its name, Mountain Dew Ice Cherry is actually a combination of cherry, lemon, and lime flavors. The Mountain Dew version boasts a small amount of real fruit juice, and like other Mountain Dew Ice variants, Ice Cherry is clear and 
color. A clear cherry soda seems like a wasted opportunity, since a cherry soda could have a dramatic dark red color. The long-term viability of iced cherry might be questionable, since Mountain Dew has tried several cherry flavors over the years. It is difficult to keep all of the different varieties straight, but rest assured that even if iced cherry disappears again, there are plenty of other cherry-flavored sodas on the market to satisfy your taste buds. This isn't over until I say it's over! X marks the dew. Mountain Dew X, or MDX, isn't just a soda, it's an energy drink. This designation means that in addition to the sweetness and caffeine, PepsiCo added a list of ingredients to MDX to charge it up. These ingredients include maltodextrin, ginseng, taurine, D-ribose, and guarana. I don't know what those words mean. Are you in the middle of some sort of aneurysm? All of these ingredients are touted as being able to improve athletic performance. D-ribose is actually sometimes used as a medicine to boost functions for people with certain diseases, but there is little evidence it would do much for a healthy person. Well, then what's the point? Exactly! Taurine is an amino acid acid that is involved with metabolizing fat, and guarana is derived from a plant found in the Amazon basin and contains caffeine. PepsiCo didn't stop with the guarana, though. It added more caffeine for good measure. What have you done? What have you done? Ginseng has long been used as an herbal remedy that is said to boost athletic performance. It can benefit brain functions, boost your immune system, and can even help fight tiredness and increase your energy levels. This flavor was sold between 2005 and 2007. MDX was groundbreaking in one way. It was the first flavor sold in the Sidekick bottle design. PepsiCo transitioned most of its 20-ounce bottles to this design in the 2010s, replacing the dome design. The dome design seemed fine to many customers, but perhaps the sidekick design is thought to be more modern looking and appealed to kids. Soda in Paradise It's like a dream come true! Pineapple may not be one of the more common soda flavors, but Mountain Dew's Game Fuel Tropical Smash makes the case that maybe it should be. Tropical Smash was one of seven flavors featured as part of Democracy 2 in 2009. Dew Lab members received samples of Tropical Smash and other flavors for evaluation. But it wasn't until 2017 that it was released as part of a marketing campaign for the release of the video game Forza Motorsport 7. Unfortunately, after this brief promotion, the flavor was discontinued at the end of 2017. Why would you do this to me? Jake, stop spiraling! Tropical Smash should not be confused with Dew's Tropical Strike. Tropical Smash has been described as a tropical punch-flavored soda with a distinct pineapple overtone. There is also some mango flavor, which makes it similar to another Mountain Dew flavor called Solar Flare. These Game Fuel releases are limited editions by nature, so seeing the flavors being discontinued is part of the process. But we wish this particular flavor would have stuck around for the long haul. Hey, I could drink, can I? Strawberry Kiwi Forever Strawberry Kiwi Kickstart Hydrating Boost is a Mountain Dew soda variant marketed as a replenishment drink. Few sodas can boast coconut water among its ingredients, but this unique flavor was introduced in 2015 to compete in the replenishment post-workout drink market. Less talk, more pain, Marshmallow Boy! Ah! Feel the burn! Ah! You call yourself a monster? Ah! This soda had a sweet strawberry and kiwi flavor that seemed to work, even though strawberry-flavored products can be very hit or miss. This strawberry and kiwi experiment only lasted a few years and was discontinued by the end of 2017. A raspberry citrus Mountain Dew replaced strawberry kiwi in 2017. Raspberry-flavored beverages generally taste better than strawberry-flavored beverages. What? This is who? So raspberry citrus Mountain Dew was likely a bigger success. The strawberry kiwi flavor was one of Mountain Dew's Kickstart Hydrating Boost products. The other one marketed along with it was a pineapple orange mango flavor. Unfortunately, the pineapple flavor was also discontinued after poor sales. Pineapple orange mango does sound pretty refreshing, so it's too bad it didn't find a bigger following. Oh, they're dead. Now I'm sad. 
the holiday do. It's like Christmas in a cup. This seasonal brew was introduced in November of 2017 and ran until the end of December. In this case, a mixture with the proportions of 40% original Mountain Dew and 60% Code Red Cherry combined to make a citrus cherry flavor and a distinctive red-orange color. It is interesting that both flavors apparently came through without clashing with each other. Despite good reviews, Holiday Brew apparently didn't go over very well with the larger public. Oops! Have you no taste buds? The seasonal brew was replaced after only one holiday season by a flavor called Merry Mashup during the very next year's holiday season. This second attempt at a holiday do was a little more successful than holiday brew. The Merry Mashup flavor was introduced in 2018 and made another appearance in 2019. Are, are you back? For good? She drank a raspberry dew. Despite the spiked in spiked raspberry lemonade, parents can rest easy that Mountain Dew did not make and market an alcoholic soda. Oh, well. That's a, that's a really. According to the information provided by PepsiCo, the spiked in this case refers to the inclusion of thirst-quenching prickly pear cactus juice. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench you. Nothing's quench you. Prickly pear cactus juice does not sound very appealing, but maybe it really is good for rehydration. Putting aside what kind of special water it has in it, this raspberry lemonade soda was made without any artificial flavors and was sweetened with real fruit juice. Spiked raspberry lemonade was released in 2017, along with spiked lemonade. I'll have some lemonade, but I've only got a quarter. Then I guess you're going thirsty, loser. By late 2017, weak sales convinced Mountain Dew to discontinue both spiked flavors. A raspberry lemonade flavor sounds like it should have been a winner for Mountain Dew, but unfortunately it wasn't. They did make a similar flavor called Berry Burst, but it was only available in soda fountains at Applebee's restaurants. This variation of Mountain Dew was flavored with raspberry and lime instead of lemon. A darker shade of dew. Oh no! We're in goth territory! This Mountain Dew flavor's tagline was Dew with Crafted Dark Berry. This variety of Mountain Dew was pre released on some select college and university campuses in August 2015 and officially released in March 2016. The flavor has been described as a dark berry punch with herbal bitters and real sugar. Older the berry, sweeter the juice. Black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. As far as comparisons, the flavor is related to the Mountain Dew flavors Dark Berry and Pitch Black. The black label color is a dark magenta. Maybe they should have made the color dark brown or black like cola flavored soda. It seems like they wanted to emphasize the fruit flavor, so they went with the purple color. Mountain Dew also put out a white label and a green label along with the black label variety. Rumors circulated that black label Mountain Dew would be discontinued, but we've actually passed the date that they were supposed to be discontinued, yet PepsiCo have not made an official official statement about it. If you love this soda drink or want to give it a try, your best bet is to snatch it up if you see it in stores, as it may not be there much longer. I need to go. I need to go now. Mountain Dew Voodoo. Oh, spooky. Spooky stuff. Mountain Dew Voodoo was a flavor that was officially released on August 26th of 2019 as a limited time release. It was clearly released to coincide with the Halloween season, with the packaging itself having a very Halloween theme. Voodoo was a mystery flavor of the popular soda drink. How interesting. It was cloudy white in color, very similar to Mountain Dew Whiteout. The taste was described by many fans as fruity, something like Starbursts or Skittles. But those guesses were just of the wrong candy. The voodoo mystery flavor was actually candy corn. What? No, ew. Gross. That makes quite a bit of sense, seeing as it was released as a limited edition Halloween-inspired drink, and candy corn is still, believe it or not, among the most popular Halloween candies out there. Keep your eyes peeled next Halloween season to see what Mountain Dew has in store for us. Have another sip. Tap that screen for another great video, show us some love, and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.